So we're sitting in this room, Jonas and I, and he's the team leader of 29 people, rather big team. He looked really stressed and he said, yeah, yeah, because people aren't kind of dealing with the current situation. He said, my main headache this year is Kenneth. Kenneth can't cope with the situation, Jonas tells me, and he, he's kind of lazy. He never really re achieve anything, you know, he never reaches any goals or anything, and he can't keep track of his time and it's very frustrating. I, I, I told Jonas I totally understand it. If we call Kenneth up and ask him about his five top priorities, top five, what would he tell us? And Jonas said, this is what he will say. I know exactly what he will say. He will say something like, well, 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 you know, you see what I have to work with. He can't cope. He can't, couldn't even tell you. Okay, I said, I understand that's frustrating. So Kenneth doesn't know what to do. And you're frustrated because he's not doing that. Jonas, uh, could you please give me Kenneth's top five priorities. Oh, exactly, exactly, <laughs> you know. What's going on? And he said, I haven't thought of it like that, to be honest. It's hard to pinpoint and to just, and I said, okay. So he, Kenneth doesn't know what he's supposed to do and you don't know what he's supposed to do and you're very frustrated, kind of. So I told Jonas, here's a piece of paper, you take this and you go into that room and you come back when you've written down at least five priorities for Mr. Kenneth here. And he came back in, you know, like 12 minutes. I got it, this is great, you know. Now give them to Kenneth and see what's gonna happen. And then I just asked him, it took you 12 minutes, just out of curiosity, how long has this been going on, this Kenneth thing? With horror in his eyes. It has been going on for seven years.